Hey guys, I'm Shannon Mayer. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about some of the exciting things going on in Daz Studio. Of course, we're going to talk about the recent release of Genesis 8 as well as the Victoria 8 figure. I think you're really going to love this. I also want to say thank you. Recently, my channel has surpassed a quarter million views, so thank you very much for that. Anybody that hasn't subscribed yet, please do so below. So why don't we just get started? Here we are on the Daz 3D website. This is the overview page for the release of Genesis 8. Down below, you see a general summary of the new features. What I found most exciting about this is the versatility. I was always hesitant when they released a new model. Uh, um, I didn't want to jump right into it because I wanted to wait until they had enough assets to make it worth it. But now there's much greater versatility. You can use wardrobes and clothing from previous models, and they will now apply very, very nicely to the Genesis 8 figure. So that means both Genesis and Genesis 2, male and female, you can apply those. Uh, you could also do this with poses. I've had a little difficulty with some of the poses but most of them work pretty well. It just needs a little adjusting. Um, so let's see what else they've got. Here we are on Daz3D.com. I'm going to go directly into the shop up top here. Click on that. And then we can scroll down a little bit. And under figure, what we want to do is select Genesis 8 female. It says that there's 93 products available for this. So click on that. And then we can scroll and go through the list. I believe it's about two pages worth of assets. They have a handful of new figures, wardrobes, and poses available. Um, I'm sure there's plenty more to come. But as I mentioned before, you can still use your previous resources. I also just did a quick search for Victoria 8 because of course we want to talk about her. In my prior tutorial titled Characters, I got very in-depth about the relationship between the current Genesis figure and Victoria 8 and why you often want to get started with both of them together. Um, but we can take a quick look at her, uh, see how she's evolved. Um, you will find that the Victoria 8 is a very in-between model. Uh, that's because she's a foundation for building on many of the other figures. So her shape is kind of right in between. Uh, she's neither too shapely or too muscular. So it, it's a nice foundation and that's why they like, like to start off a lot of their other figures uh, by using her. Uh, you can see that she has great detailing, great texture. Um, I know that they put in some effort into the shoulder joints and the hands, as they pointed out on their overview page. Um, but let's hop right over to Daz Studio itself and see some of this stuff in action. Here I have already loaded in the Genesis 8 figure. Um, there's two options here. One is uh, very basic and the one on the left here has been textured and has uh, more of the skin detailing. Let me start off with one of the things I'm most excited about when it comes to the um, Genesis 8 figure. Uh, once again, it is working with Power Pose. If th some of you recall, Genesis 3 did not work with Power Pose. Uh, I don't know if it was a correction they ever got to, uh, but I didn't, didn't see that at any point. Um, but it is definitely working pretty well with the Genesis 8 figure. Uh, for those of you that don't know how, how to load it in. If you go over here on the right, right between the two tabs, if you right click on the blank space here, it'll say add pane. And then you can scroll down to power pose. Uh, that's right here. Pulls up this beautiful diagram. It looks like they did a nice little update to that. Now in our scene, we want to make sure we have Genesis 8 female selected. We can click back into the tab here. And in power pose, um, it's just an alternate way of posing the figure. Of course, in the scene, uh, you can click and drag things around. Um, you can get your scroll points by clicking on it and then bending it like this. Uh, but Power Pose, it's an additional feature that lets you rotate it right here in the diagram. I really like that we can do that. Uh, 
Now, let me also point out something. Let me scroll out a little bit on her so you understand. Uh, say we want to rotate the legs here. I'm just going to left click and drag. See, it rotates around, or if I go forward or back, it does that. But what if I just want the leg to spread out sideways? Now I want to right click and then drag, and it'll work like that. So you just play around with it a little bit, and you'll find that some of the joints uh, have more diversity than others. So uh, always the combination of trying right click and left click. Um, now what I have found so far is when I go into the hand poses here, I'm not going to click on it uh, because the studio has been crashing out on me. Hopefully the, they'll have an update for that shortly and they'll get that functioning. Um, I think my system is pretty up to date. So if you are a Daz Studio and you're listening in, uh, take a look at that and try that on some of the different platforms. Um, once again, I'm going to make sure Genesis 8 is selected. Back into Power Pose. Now, I love this feature. If we go into the face here, the portrait, I'm going to zoom in on the character here. Um, it's no longer just rotating the head, which is what it used to do before. Now you can actually change the, the expression. Um, it's very interactive. I love working it with it this way. Um, to avoid some confusion, I just clicked off. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at the eyes. You might want to go right into the eyes and try to rotate them, but it's going to do it individually. Uh, start with the center point here, and both eyes will move around together. I'm going to move in a little closer as well. Okay, uh, so we can rotate side, side, up and down. Um, now, what you can also do is adjust the expressions. So you see the one on the nose here, you scroll up and down, and it makes her look a little bit more fierce. Um, maybe you want to squint a little bit on one side. Uh, let's have her look a little bit to the side, get a little bit... Uh, more of the expression going here. Uh, you're just going to want to play around with it a little bit, um, see how you drag these out, and find some fun ways of modifying her expression. You could also move the jaw side to side. I really love this. Uh, I think it's very interactive. Um, it's a lot better than just the, the scroll bars that you had on the side, or trying to pick out and find specific um, pose presets for it, which of course you can still always use that and then modify them with this feature. If you want to find it easier to follow along here, just so you know, I work in Hollywood Boulevard. That's the layout for Des Studio. If you go up top in your main menu, it says Window. I think it's just out of your view here. Uh, then you scroll down to Workspace, select Layout, and the one I have chosen is right here, Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, it's always been my preference to work with that. Um, I'm showing that because what I want to show you next is how to use some of the assets that you have already picked up for other Genesis models. So if I have Genesis 8 selected here on the right, and I go into Smart Content here. Uh, I have my product list, not my files, my products selected. And here is everything that I have for Genesis 8. What it came with, and then of course the models that I picked up from their website. Uh, so it looks like a total of eight here. Um, but I want to take a look at what else I have. So I'm going to go into Wardrobe here be specific and there's just one wardrobe that I picked up but I don't want to apply her down here on the left um, it says filter by context uh, that is just going to show me what has been selected here in my scene which is the Genesis 8 so I'm going to uncollect that now everything that I've picked up before will be available in this tab um, much easier to search by product as opposed to files where it breaks down and displays every single item that's in each one of these packages. Uh, now, if I want to find something older, something for Genesis 2 or Genesis 3, um, let me scroll here and find a nice wardrobe. Okay, here's a nice one. Uh, it's called Lolita Gothic for Genesis 3 females. Again, it wasn't designed for Genesis 8, uh, but you can now apply it to her. Um, take a quick glance here so you know what the product's supposed to look like. 
Okay. And, and now what I'm going to do is this one here says wearable, so it'll apply all of them. Uh, let me scroll out just a little bit here so you can see a little better. Uh, with Genesis 8 selected, I'm going to double click on that and it's going to look to add it to the scene. And now what it does, I'm sure you've seen this before, is it says uns um, it's asking what this is because it's not recognizing it. Uh, so you have two drop down lists here. Uh, false to unsupported. I'm going to say that this was created for Genesis 3 female because we know that. We're just telling it what it is. And I'm going to hit accept. Um, it's going to start to shift and apply that. And there's multiple items here, so it might do it a bunch of times. Um, the secondary drop down list asks you to get more specific. But actually, I found that it was applying it just fine by selecting that first category. So I'll say um, this is Genesis 3 female again. Uh, I'm going to leave the what type of item it is as none. I'm not even going to tell it. I'm going to hit uh, accept. It's going to drop to the next item that it doesn't know how to find because it's trying to apply all assets that are call, uh, included in this set. Genesis 3 female. All right, we'll have to do it a handful of times, but it doesn't take that long. Okay, and there we have it. It's all been applied. Uh, let's... Oops. Let's give a little rotate here. We'll take a look and see how it appears to be fitted on her. And I have found that it is working much better, even between uh, Genesis and Genesis 2, uh, that this appears to have a pretty much seamless fit. So they have clearly done an excellent job in updating the versatility for their Genesis series. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this overview of the Genesis 8 model. I also want to encourage you, you have any suggestions, recommendations, anything you'd like to see, make sure you add it to the comments section. Uh, I will look forward to reviewing that and interacting you, with you as well. Uh, also, take a look on my channel. Uh, you'll enjoy a lot of the videos. My characters tutorial gives a much more in-depth uh, overview on the relationship between whatever the current Genesis model is and the current Victoria model. So until next time, thanks again for joining me.